Hello everybody, Kai Waza with you. Welcome back to my channel. And today we have a, a requested video. I've had quite a few uh, lately uh, ideas and requests for certain videos and I'm gonna start doing some of them or pretty much all of them basically, <laughs> gradually. But today uh, I want to show you, um, there are videos on this online and I swear, I swear I did a video about it several years ago and I can't find it. <laughs> I don't know whether I just deleted it or I don't know. Anyway, uh, it's about bow ties. So I love bow ties. I mean, I like long ties too, but I think right at the moment, bow ties are a little bit more trendy or whatever. Um, and I think they're just kind of cute and they're fun and I like them. But this is like how you often will buy bow ties already made up and you just either clip them on or they have things that go around your neck or whatever and you put it on and Bob's your uncle. Um, but they also sell uh, bow ties that you tie yourself. It's not that complicated once you learn it. And I have plenty of those too that they look like this before they're, they're tied. And there are videos on how to tie, tie bow ties, not complicated. But what a lot of people don't know is that you can take one of these kind of ties, the traditional long tie, We'll just call it long tie. I'm not sure what the what I should be calling it, but you can tie these without any sewing or cutting or anything. It just in the way that you tie it, you can take one of these and make it into one of these. And the fun thing about it is that anybody who thrifts, if you love to go to thrift stores and charity shops and all of that, you know. Every thrift store or garage sale usually or whatever that you go to, there's a million ties because there's a lot of, and a lot of old vintage ones too. Old ties are very, very common. I think people don't dress up as much on a daily basis. And a lot of these old ties are finding their way into thrift stores. I mean, I rarely go to a thrift shop that doesn't have at least like 50 ties, at least hanging up that you can choose from very cheap. So you have this whole plethora of, cheap, inexpensive thrift store ties that you can turn into swanky bow ties very easily just by the way that you tie them. And I'm gonna show you how you do that today. Practice makes perfect. I know the first time you try it, it's like, what, what, what? I mean, it took me a few times to get it, but once the light bulb went off over my head, it was like, oh my gosh. And the truth of the matter is, the truth of the matter is learning to make a bow tie out of a long tie in the end is actually easier than learning how to tie an actual bow tie. This method is actually easier. Not that I still don't love these, I do, but there's like, you know, an unending variety of vintage ties that you can get at thrift stores. The only thing I will tell you before I show you that when you are shopping for uh, old vintage ties that you would like to make into bow ties or tie as bow ties is the is that the design does matter differently. When you see it hanging on the shelf, it's like this and the pattern goes like this. Now both of these, neither one, I don't have one that has really a directional pattern, but if it has some kind of directional pattern, like if it has, you know, pictures of Santa Claus on it or it has pictures of whatever, um, they're running up and down. And what you have to remember is when you tie this as a bow tie, it's going to be sideways. So if, if it's a Santa Claus face, it's not gonna work when you, you know, going up and down this way, if say it's Santa Claus face and Christmas tree designs or whatever, going up and down this way, when you put it this way as a bow tie, it's not gonna work because the design's gonna be sideways. So make sure that you're picking a design that it will work you know, sideways as well. Like this is fine, but it's also fine this way. And you, you know, you can see as a bow tie, it would, it would be fine on its side. It's gonna be like that, you know, basically. So that's fine. Just make sure you check that. So now let me show you <laughs> how to tie this. And again, practice makes perfect. I know you have to watch it a couple times ago, what? But once you get it, it's not difficult. Well, hello. Aren't you spiffy in your new bow tie? Why don't you come and visit us at live365.com and our two sister radio stations. 
Hawaiian Hi-Fi, where we play vintage and retro Hawaiian selections. Or Moody Boot Music, where we play vinyl music from decades past, taking you back to the era of elevator music and grocery store music, call waiting, oh, you know, all those good old tunes. Come and visit us both. Both are streaming 24 hours a day, seven days a week for absolutely free. That's Hawaiian Hi-Fi and Moody Mood Music, both on Live365.com. Okay, so here we have the selected tie. I'm just going to lay it down upside down, straight, just straighten it out. Upside down. There you go. Then I'm going to take this end and fold it in like that. So what you're doing really is like making a little taco, a little taco shell. Put the little taco through this, either this or this. They all have one or the other or both. Um, and that's going to help hold it together when you when you put it on. So you just leave it like that. You don't do anything else to it. Now, how wide you want your bow tie is kind of up to you. I mean, some people like them really small, and some people I like them a little bit bigger. So I'm for me, I make it a little bit past my hand, a little bit bigger than my hand. But you can make it smaller if you want to. And then I'm just going to take that and fold that over making it the same, evening them up here. This is not rocket science. I mean, you have to worry about it that much. Just fold it back over again. And I'm gonna start to fold it back over a third time, but I'm gonna stop halfway. Stop halfway, just hold that down with the finger. And you're gonna take this, flip around, and it is the back side. Flip it around like that and you're gonna bring it up through here. So you have to kind of maintain this hold somehow. You're gonna take the end, flip it up inside of this. And this is gonna make a kind of a knot. It's gonna be the basic knot to hold this together. So you wanna start tightening this. So you need to hold the, the sides down so everything doesn't come apart and go crazy. And you want to flip it around because the front of the tie, we're looking at the back of the tie, doing it right here. So you want to flip it around and that's going to show you the front, which is looking pretty good. So, and you can adjust it, you know, when it's at this stage and you have control over how tight you've got the knot, you can make it, you know, frillier or pull one end out a little bit or whatever you want to do. But also I should tell you something, according to GQ magazine, um, something else that people do sometimes is they worry that everything is perfect and it has to look perfect. And I'm telling you, don't. I mean, the thing about a bow tie or any of these things is uh, imperfections are fine and they don't have to be exactly, you know, picture perfect. Or Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's character and it looks cool. And you can just make that pretty much as tight as you want it. That's it. So you're going to end up tying this around your, your neck. So you want to take the back again and bring around the back of it. And you're going to loop it underneath all of this, underneath all of it. Just, you just got to find where that little space is. And again, you are going to be loosening loosening it up a little bit as you do this that's okay because you can tighten it back up but this is what you're gonna you have to loop it around your neck like this and this part you're just gonna stick i can show you actually when i put it on but there see i've messed it up a little bit and that's perfectly fine we just tighten it up again rearrange it and that looks great now i'll show you how we put it on and now I'm gonna show you how to put it on. Now you gotta button your shirt, collar up all the way up. Actually, the truth is you kinda of don't have to. I mean, sometimes if you have a shirt and it's just too tight, you can not button the top one and put the tie on over it and it'll be, be okay. Nobody will know the difference. Another thing that's really cool um, that they make, I can show you, are these little things 
they're extenders and you just like collar extenders. You put it around the button and it makes this button, this is stretchy, so it'll stretch out. So it'll give you a little like another inch, you know, if you need to stretch it out a little bit. They're inexpensive. I think you can get them all over the place. I don't know, but yeah, little collar extenders. So let me take our bow tie, which we have right here. This is gonna go around. I might have made this too small for my head, so I need to pull it out. I have rather a large head. I do. Okay, well, that's okay. And you're gonna put your collar up and get this thing all situated before you put the collar back down. So then you just pull it on that, that loose end. And again, you can make adjustments to it when you get here on the, the knot on the inside, but I think this looks fine. Get that nice and comfortable. You just wrap this around and you're just gonna tuck this underneath this thing. That's all you're gonna do because nobody's gonna see this because your collar's gonna be down. Nobody will see this at all. And you will have a lovely, cute little bow tie look going on and nobody will know the difference, right? There you go. How to make a bow tie from a regular long tie. It's not terribly difficult. Well, I got to work on, I could straighten out my collar a little bit more here, not that I'm looking at it, but it's, it's fine. You just straighten things out and that's all there is to it. Nobody knows the difference, and you can get a huge variety of bow ties at a very low cost using this method. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, and we'll check you out in the next video.